Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm gonna teach you how to get consistent with your golf swing. All right, this is a pretty interesting tip, so you make sure you kind of watch the whole thing and then start to apply this to your own golf swing. Hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, I'm talking about what to look at as you step over top of the ball and doing your setup and as you hit the ball. So why I'm doing a tip on this is because I get a lot of people asking me, you know, what do I look at? <laughs> well, what you look at is going to vary with what level a golfer you are at. All right, so let's just kind of talk about beginners, average players, and then better players. All right, so beginners, your thought when you first start off is you want to be focused on the ball until you have hit the ball. Okay, meaning you're coming in like this, a lot of beginners want to look a little too early to see what they've hit before they've actually hit it. All right, so that causes you to kind of lift up a little bit. Also, beginners typically hit the golf ball solely with their hands and arms. So if you learned as an adult, you're up here, you know, you're trying to hit hard. If you try to hit hard, your arm contracts, the lead arm right here. So if it started extended, you hit it with it contracted, club comes off the ground. Add a little raising up to that, and you know, you're gonna definitely top it. You might even miss it completely. All right, so what I'd like you to do is really stay focused on the ball and try to literally watch the club hit the ball. What we're trying to do is we are trying to delay our reaction. So you're looking at the ball, club's coming in, it hits the ball. Once you hit the ball, you'd still be looking right where the ball was, and then you can look to see where your ball is, all right? So that's delaying the reaction. So when I hit a golf ball, I don't actually see the full flight of the ball. I don't see the first 25 or upwards of 30 yards, you know, depending on what club I'm hitting. So you want to hit it, kind of like this right here. We just want to hit it, and then we're going to look for it. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, too many people want to look too early, which is going to get you to come out of it, and you run the risk of topping it. All right, so easy thing you could do here, take the label like this, and just have the label facing you. So you've got something to look at, all right? Instead of just a white ball, there's a logo on the ball. So when you go to set up to it like this, just keep looking at the logo. Keep looking at the logo until the club hits the ball or you hear the club hit the ball. That will delay the reaction. Then you can look out there for the ball, all right? I'd really like you to not hit the ball solely with your arms. I've got tons of other tips on the channel about my technique and what I do, okay? How I teach the golf swing. So I would recommend watching some more of those because we it's not just about hitting the golf ball with your arms. Okay, but as a beginner, I need you to watch the ball until the club hits the ball so that we at least get every ball airborne. Okay, airborne is your first goal. All right, so just start doing that, okay? If you were, let's say, doing practice swings around the house, no ball, as a beginner, then just watch for the club to blur. Okay, watch the club blur. That would be just like you're watching the golf ball out on the range here. So just see the club right here, watch it blur past you, then that's training you to stay focused here. All right, now, as average players, average players are still hitting the golf ball with their arms, typically, I'm going to say probably 90 plus percent of everyone I see is just up here like this, trying to hit hard. They send the club over the top right here. So they go like this, they hit with their arms, they send it over the top. You know, if the face is open or closed, they get pull, pull hooks, open, pull slices, all sorts of shots. All right. So for you, I would say to look at the back 
of the ball. All right, because if you're up here like this, you go to the top, you're trying to hit with your arms. When you try to hit with your arms, your whole body moves forward. You, angles like this, it angles this way. That sends it over the top. So if I'm up here like this and I lean forward, see where the club goes? It goes over the top. So how do we fix that? Well, we gotta angle our body backwards. I've done tips on this too. All you have to do is look at the back of the ball. So instead of the label being straight up, we're gonna take the label right here and we're gonna point it over there. Okay, so we tee it up like this. We point the label like this so you can just kind of barely see it right there. Okay, so I can just barely see that label. Do it on a tee, easier on a tee. So right here, now as I go back, I wanna look at the back of the ball, and then I wanna look at the back of the ball, or I wanna look at the label on the back of the ball as I hit the ball. That will start to build this angle. All right, you get the angle, then you stop coming over the top, which obviously is a huge problem. So, you know, we get the club attacking on the right path and your whole game changes because you can hit the ball a million times better, more online, more powerful shots, and all sorts of things. So average players, look at the back of the ball, okay? So I remember doing that many, many years ago. Now, as a better player, what am I looking at? Well, I kind of did all those things, so now I've kind of graduated to another level. I'm actually looking at the face of the golf club. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I see the ball when I step up to it. I'm looking at the ball, now I'm looking at the face. I'm trying to get the face nice and square to the alignment stick. I'm putting, putting my grip on. I'm still really looking at the face. The odd time I glance over at the ball just to make sure that it's, you know, in the proper position. So I'm now looking at the face. Once I see that, then I take the club back and I hit the shot. So I know the ball's there, but I'm not really fixated on the ball. You know, it's gonna be pretty rare if I'm topping a shot, you know? Like, better players tend to hit the ball thin. We don't necessarily top it. We've kind of got, got, you know, rid of those shots and we're somewhat consistent. So I just kind of see the ball there. I'm watching the face. I do my swing and the ball is hit. So I kind of see the ball as part of the landscape here. I'm not fixated on it, all right? But that is a different level to be at, all right? And I think that would just kind of naturally happen. I don't recall a time when I started to not look at the back of the ball, okay? It just happened. So just take it in steps like that. Again, beginners, put the label facing you, watch the ball until the club hits the ball. You can either watch it hit the ball or listen to it hit the ball. As soon as you hear the club hit the ball, then you can look out that way. Don't see the full flight of the ball, okay? Average players, I gotta get you building the angle so you're not doing this reverse pivot, you know? You do this, it's just a disaster. You know, you're never gonna improve from here. Sending the club way over the top, you know, you're just not even making direct contact with the, with the ball. So you gotta start to angle your body a little bit back. Well, if you angle back, you'd be able to see the back of the ball. So start getting in the habit of doing that. Yeah, it'll be weird at first. You're gonna hit some bad shots. Probably hit pushes and push fades, that's okay. Cause you gotta get the angle. Once you get the angle, you know, you'll get used to it. And then we can release the club a little bit better so we hit it nice and straight. As better players, we're just gonna graduate to, you know, at that point, you're, you kinda know what you're doing. You know, like I said, I just showed you what I do. You know, I look at the face. I see the ball, I see the face. I see the ball, I see the face. I'm not even thinking about it. I've just done it so many millions of times in my life. I just kind of see it there. Like, I'm not even thinking about that. All right, so hopefully this clarifies things. <laughs> Whatever level you're at, follow the tip, and then hopefully you too will graduate. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. 
If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.